What's going on, Vape Nation? This is Job 131 Vapes uh, here with the uh, EPRO EH Pro Atomic Clone Review. It's a dripper, and well, it's pretty good, but you'll see on my, my close ups, do a little build, and uh, I'll talk about it and let you know what I like and what I don't like about it. So stick around. Hello folks, so we're in our zoom zoom view of the EH Pro eSig Atomizer. It's the Atomic clone. Enjoy your vapor life. Is it uh, EH Pro? Is it eh, Pro? Eh, who knows. Alright, so this is the box. It comes in. And we open it up. Here's the Atomic. Um... Okay, so it comes with some silica wick, an extra O-ring, and some wire, but we're not going to use that. That's the packaging. Put that out of the way. So again, this is the Atomic. Let's see, sorry. Let's zoom in on that. Let's see, there we go. Nice drip tip, nice wide bore, just tapers in it a little bit at the end. Let's see if we can pull this open. Oh, need the... I already had a pre build on this. Oops. Okay, so this is the Atomic clone from EH Pro. First thing I notice is that it is a bit small uh, compared to other atomizers, but I guess not too different from other drippers, except for maybe the 3D from H. Cigar. Now, just a size comparison for the two. So H. Cigar 3D dripper with the 510 connection on. As you can see as well, this is a full 22 millimeter. Not really too sure what the uh, atomic is, but it's significantly smaller. Uh, drip tip, I really like, and this EH Pro, it's a, a very big, wide bore drip tip. Sits in there securely. Um, comparing this to the Trident version 2. It's about the same height, give or take. But you'll notice that the bottom is uh, on the Trident V2 is a bit bigger. So the EH Pro is a bit thinner. So it's a standard three posts. Two negative on the outside, one positive on the inside. See the one O-ring and the little, uh, they look like maybe one millimeter, one and a half millimeter holes for the wire in each post. It's a bit small, the deck's a bit small um, compared to, let's say, a Trident V2 since I have it here. Trident V2, the deck's pretty big. Posts as well. A little bit wider apart. I do like a little bit more room in my deck for my builds, but this one will do fine. Again, like I mentioned, the holes are about one millimeter, one and a half millimeter. You may or may not be able to fit a 28 gauge dual coil, dual micro coil will fit. 26 maybe, but anything lower than that, I don't think they'd fit in dual coil mode. You'd probably have to bust a single coil on that. Um, other than that, top cap, so deep, 
kind of funnels in slightly. Got airflow control on this. It's adjustable. I like it at the widest spot, which is three mil two three millimeter holes on each side. So one, two. And keep it like that, and you just put the top cap on and screw it down once you find where you like it. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wash this up and then get it ready and show you a build. Okay, so I've already pre-built or pre-wrapped pre this uh, our coils. I'm using a 28 gauge Canthal 9 wraps on a 332nd bit. So I'm just gonna put this put the, put the coil back on the drill bit just so it'll make things easier when I'm putting the post in or the uh, coil in and I mean if you haven't built one of these before and especially with these uh, holes in the, in the post very easy so I take that and I put the um, put the center of the, the positive pin or, po or wire in and put the wire in the negative post and should just slide right in there ish with a little help okay and then I'll tighten the negative post first that looks okay I'll bend this wire back bend this wire back with a positive drill bit out. Oops. Grab the other coil. And again, I'll go with the positive first. Try and get that in there. Like I said, there's not too much room to move. I don't even think you could get a 26 gauge in there. Just give me a second. Try bending this back. Really? Come on. There we go. Positive in first, negative in second, and again I'll just push this in so it works its way. That looks good, I think. So, what I'm going to do again is Tighten the negative posts. It's okay. Get that one out of the way. And then just be able to tighten. If I'm happy with the position of the Coils, then I'll tighten the positive post. That looks good. And okay, so I'll take the drill bit out, I clip the excess, take the 
take some nail clippers. That's one. That's two. Try and get in as close as you can. Okay, I think. Just in case. Bend any excess. Just gonna put the wire back or the drill bit back in. So do some positioning. That looks okay. Let's just check it on the ohm meter first. And wow, perfect one ohm. There you go. All right. Put this aside for now. Put it on the mech so I can heat up some coils and uh, do some final adjustments see how they glow it's uh, pretty good don't mind my dog gotta cut her nails Spots. But uh, just squeeze it a bit for now. So just pulse it while you're getting this set. And I think they look pretty good glowing from the inside out. And I think that looks pretty good. Alright. So just in case, I like to check it again on the ohm meter. So again, it's perfect 1.0 ohms. Not bad, not bad. Might as well leave it in there. I'm going to take some cotton. I like cotton wicks. Um, I like it better than using silica or echo wool, but it is a preference thing. So I'm going to take some cotton. Now, I wasn't able, for me, I wasn't able to find any organic um, cotton balls anywhere so I just went to a local drug mart drugstore got 100% pure cotton and I double boiled these and that seems to be or it seems to me tastes all right I just uh, actually boiled a whole bunch of them and I just stuck them into a old medicine bottle that I sterilized and it seems to be working out. I mean, look at that. That's packed full of cotton. I won't need it for anything for a while. So, again, um, for me, that looks pretty good. I'll trim that down. Get another piece for the other coil. Might be a little bit too 
sec. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to get some scissors and trim these, trim the excess. Okay, so got the scissors, just going to trim the excess cotton off. That's good. Actually, the deck's smaller than I usually like, so let's trim a little bit more. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to take, well, I'm going to take the drill bit since I don't have everything else with me right now. I'm just going to tuck that end in. And take the other end, tuck that in. Now I like leaving a little bit of air, an air hole just underneath the coil. I mean you're still tucking it underneath but I don't need it to actually touch the bottom coil. That's how I like it but again everybody's taste is different. I'll do this to the other side as well. Looks pretty good. Yeah, let's get some juice to kind of wet it down. So the juice that I'm using is a 50/50 PGVG. It's um, Vader's pudding from Maple Leaf Vapes, or from, uh, well, it's not a. It's, I got it from Maple Leaf Vapes. I remember, I'll see if I can remember the company. That uh, actually they distribute for, but just wet the wicks just to make sure they're nice and moist. Plus, it'll help you to kind of position the cotton to where you want it. And drippers, in my opinion. more is more or more is less or <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense but I don't mind overfilling the juice that's what I'm trying to say that looks nice no hot spots I believe Actually. All right, so we'll go to our, our other view and uh, see how she vapes. And we're back. So I'll tell you what I like about the Atomic Clone, our EH Pro Atomic Clone. First thing, I like the build quality. Stainless steel, everything's pretty solid. I mean, everything fits together the way it should. Screws are okay. Um, I love the dual air tip, our dual air hole especially in the three millimeter option. It gives you lots of airflow because that's what I like. Uh, I also really like the drip tip for this wide bore. I don't know if you can see that from there, but showed it up in close view. Also, I, I like the way that this heats up the vapor um, as well as how thick the vapor I, I can get with this uh, RDA. I mean, I'll just give you a, a quick look. This is a 1.0 ohm build. 50-50 uh, uh, dual coil 50-50 juice so I mean that's 
that's a lot of vapor for 50 50 juice that's that's pretty good um, what I don't like I mean I, I it's being nitpicky I, I could it could be a little bit bigger just so you have more room to work on the deck and uh, I guess so you don't have to drip as much or as often but again even without it would I buy it yeah I bought it and would I buy it again hell yeah I mean the amount of vapor that this produces the, the thick dense warm vapor that, that comes out of it the the air holes yeah definitely definitely worth it to buy I picked mine up for $30 Canadian at, uh, on eBay uh, from a company called or a person called TBD Enterprises I'll leave the uh, link below but um, yeah I mean well worth the money if you don't if you if you're into drippers I think you'll really enjoy this one and you know other than that this is job 131 vape saying keep your wicks wet and uh, have a good day